Hi everyone, and hey. welcome to Mr. and Mrs. Pilot. This is our very first episode here on our brand new YouTube series. I we hope you like it. And before yours truly. We're putting all our efforts into this one. And before you say anything, we know we're not married, but we're still gonna keep the name Mrs. or Mrs. Pilot because we think it was quite catchy, okay? My name is Maria Fagerstrom and this is my boyfriend and partner in crime, Victor Force. Since this is our first episode, you guys might be wondering what you can expect. As you probably know, we pilots are not allowed to bring you passengers into the flight deck for obvious safety reasons. It's a bit of a shame actually, but what we want to do here is to change that. We're going to bring the passengers into the flight deck and remove that closed flight deck door, okay? We're going to show you what's actually going on from the best seat of the airplane. The best seat. So I want to take this opportunity to say a big thank you to OSM Aviation Academy. It's the previous flight school of Maria and I, uh, where we went nine years ago. And they are the guys actually sponsoring this whole project by letting us use their 737-800 simulator. So a big thank you. Also, we hope you guys are liking this video and commenting and please consider subscribing. It would make both Victor and I very happy. So without further ado, let's fly. Come fly with me. <laughs> so before every flight, the captain and the first officer meet up in a so-called crew room somewhere located in the airport. They go through weather, significant weather charge, aircraft technical logbook, NOTAMs and so on and they discuss the flight and decide how much fuel they would like to have for that day. After that, they meet up with the cabin crew and the captain briefs the whole crew about how the day is gonna look like and then when they're ready, they go off out on the apron and walk to the aircraft. All right, Maria, the uh, walk around is complete. Aircraft looks very nice from the outside and how's it going in here for you? Yeah, good. I'm just uh, finishing up my setup here and once I've done that, I'll start the briefing. All right, good stuff. So guys, uh, normally Marie and I, we are first officers in the airline that we fly for. But today, obviously, one of us needs to act captain. And uh, as I'm in the left seat already, I'm going to act captain for today. Also, Maria will be pilot flying today, so she will take off and land and I will be the pilot monitoring. So as Victor just mentioned there, I'm going to be the pilot flying of this specific flight and then Victor is going to be the pilot monitoring as well as the captain. And once Victor is done with his external walk around and I'm done setting up the flight deck, I'm going to brief the captain of our expected departure. But before we do that, I'm going to grab the ATIS, which is the weather information, and then ask the tower and the air traffic control for our departure clearance. Gardemunde Tower, Mrs. 737, request departure clearance to Alicante. Clear to Alicante via Atlas 5 Alpha departure, climb initially at 7,000 feet, squawk 5646. Clear to Atlas 5 Alpha departure, climbing 7,000 feet, squawking 5646, Mrs. 737. All right. 5646, 7,000 feet, Atlas 5 Alpha. Perfect. Are you ready for a brief? I am. So if we can do a route check, please. Yeah, perfect. So guys, this is probably you right now looking out the window, probably seeing two heads there in the front, just moving around wondering what they are actually doing up there. But uh, we're about to board a... Attention, all passengers on flight 152. Alicante. Please report to gate 47. Uh, yeah. Our taxi route is most probably going to be pushback facing west. I agree. And then we'll take taxiway Golf November 1 all the way to the holding point for zero 01 left. All right. While the pilots are having fun doing their briefings, you're walking down the air bridge or what we call in aviation slang a finger. Make sure you come prepared on board, know your seat number and put on a smile for the cabin crew who probably had a really long day. Sure, let's do some checks. All right, so uh, safety inspection checklist, surfaces and shocks. Checked. Maintenance status. Checked. Hey 
Hey guys, you are probably in your seat right now watching the cabin crew do those safety demonstrations. The pilots up front are doing their last checklist and once you hear doors are armed and cross-checked, that means the doors are closed and we're ready for push and start. Now I'm just going to find my seat here so we can get going. Sorry. The doors are all closed. Before start checklist complete, shall we request a push and start? Good idea. So once everything is briefed and understood by both pilots, we're going to request startup, push back, start the engines and request taxi out to the active runway. Mrs. 737 requesting push and start. Mrs. 737 push and start approved facing west. Push and start is approved facing west, Mrs. 737. Load light. Air conditioning packs. Off. And condition light. On. Parking brake. Set. Transponder. Out off. All right, before start, let's use complete. Ground flight tech, we're cleared for push and start. Parking brake is set. Release the parking brake. Parking brake released. Are we cleared to start engine number two? Cleared two. Cleared two. Starting engine number two. N2. N1. Oil pressure. Are we cleared to start engine number one? Cleared one. Number two is stable, and we are cleared to start engine number one. Left side is clear. Starting one. And two. Oil pressure. And one. Starter cutout. Monitor one. One is stable. We have two good engines start. You're cleared to disconnect yourself. See on the left hand side with the clear signal and the pin. Have a nice day. Uh, take care. Ciao. All disconnected. Take care. Bye. Brothers, center left, center right, center. Recall. So what you just saw us do there was configuring the aircraft for takeoff. And if you look out the window, you can probably see the flaps are moving down at the back of the wing. And the only thing the pilots have to do now is to do another checklist. Just make sure and double checking that everything is set and configured for takeoff. And before taxi checklist. Generators. On. APO. Off. Start switches. On. Continuous. Probe heat. On. Anti-ice. Off. Aircon. Back auto leads on. Isolation valve. Auto. Flaps. Five required. Five selected. Green lights. Stab trim. We have 6.5 units required. 6.5 units set. Start levers. Idle tent. Flight controls. Checked. And recall. Checked. Before taxi checklist complete. All right. Request taxi. Mrs. 737, request taxi. Mrs. 737, taxi November 1, Alpha 1, holding point 01 left. Taxi via November, Alpha 1, holding point 01 left. Mrs. 737. Alright. Left side is clear. Right side is clear. Parking brake released. Config checked. And off we go. So straight ahead here, we take a left onto November. And then follow November all the way down to Alpha 1. And before take a checklist, please. Config. Checked. Flaps. Five green light. Start trim. 6.5 units required and set. Holding and carrying. So, yet again, you saw us do another checklist. That was the so called before takeoff checklist. So, basically, that is what we do to double check once again that everything is correctly configured before taking off. As you probably know it, flying is all about safety and there's a lot of double checking involved in our profession. So we're now taxiing down towards the runway and once we have received the cabin secure call from our colleagues in the back, which means that you guys are seated with your seatbelt securely fastened, we are ready to inform the tower that we're now ready for takeoff. Got a moon net tower, MSC 737, fully ready for the departure at holding point Alpha 1. 737 wind 350 degrees 6 knots runway 01 left clear takeoff. Clear for takeoff 01 left. Mrs. 737. Confirm we are clear to line up runway 01 left and clear for takeoff as well. Affirm we are clear for takeoff runway 01 left. We are all right. on. Below the line you can see the cabin crew. I'll see the cabin crew. Cabin crew, please take your seats for departure. 
I'm below the line, please. MCP. Is set. Transponder. T A R A. Strobe lights. On. And landing lights. Landing lights are on. Before takeoff checklist is complete. You have controls. Okay, my controls. Start timing. Timing. Stabilized. So take a thrust. Take a thrust set. Indication stop. did there we we raised the landing gear and then we retracted all the flaps to clean up the airplane and they are hydraulically powered systems so they make a bit of noise like but that's absolutely normal unlike me we just need to clean up the aircraft reduce that drag so we can climb higher and faster so let's continue that climb out Mr. 737, climb flight level 150. Mr. 737, we are clear to climb flight level 150. Set. 150 is checked. Flaps are up, no lights. Set standard. Set. Standard set passing flight level 38 for 150. And level change, 230. And we can do the after takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist. I'll take a check, air pattern press, 2.1 psi, we're climbing and set. Altimeters. Pulsing flight level 554150. I'll take a check, complete. Happy to release the cabin crew. I'm happy. Thank cabin crew released. That was it guys, thank you very much for watching. That was the very first episode of Mr. and Mrs. Pilot. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and this is what you can expect in the next episode. Check, runway inside, disconnecting. 50, 40, 30, 90, 10.